Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm starting to put up some more deck profiles, you know, just so that I could keep taking mines apart, making other decks, and, you know, just for the benefit of YouTube, you know, get an idea of how to make decks and what other ideas are there. But I made this deck because I was tired of running all my decks, and most of the time, uh, I could at least get, you know, three and one, but, you know, you have to top in tournaments, you basically have to go undefeated. But I made this deck just to go against that. And basically, anti-meta. Um, and this is my way of building it. Um, probably the same as other people's, I'm not sure. But this is my build. And there are some things in here that I wanted to do different, but it's work how it is. Um, so let me start. Is a uh, one Kwaki Mero Guardian. Um, he's good. You can tribute him and negate the effect of, like, let's say you know they're going to try to play Gorus, summon, attack, they activate Gorus. He's still, they take, they take 19, but when um, Gorus activates his effect, you can tribute. You can have two of him, but I only have one just because most of the stuff in here I have negates effects anyway. So, um, that's that. One Fossil Dyna. You can have two, maybe three, but I choose one. It's a rock too, so if you have to reveal for Kokimero, you can reveal this. And this card itself says whenever it's flipped, like if they attack it, it's flipped. Every special summon monster gets destroyed, even yours. But most of the time, they don't want special summoning. In this deck, you don't special summon uh, that much. Um, but And when he's face up, neither player can special summon. Uh, Fossil Diana. Um, one Doom Cow. I mean... If you don't have a Doom Cow, you can always replace it with this one and just have three of this. But Doom Cow, good tech. Whenever an effect activates, it automatically tributes itself and destroys that effect. Um, one Morphine Jar to replenish your hand. Um, I got Legendary Jiu Jitsu Master in there. That's good. Face down, they attack it. The card doesn't go back to the hand, it goes to the top of their deck. So it's a really good card. Um, 18d sometimes they can't get over 18 most of the times they can but if it's a synchro or anything else it always goes back to the top of their deck this is a tech choice for me beast king barbaros you'll see later on why this card is good um, you can normal summon him his attack is 19 or you can tribute summon for him most of the times I wouldn't tribute summon but if you do tribute summon for a 3 um, you can destroy all cards your opponent control, but I don't do that in this deck. It's just for a combo with Skill Drain. Um, Goris, just in case you get that one time, if you get this in the opening hand, it's the best time to draw, to draw it because you can just leave the field open, they attack for any amount, set them, drop them down because most of the time you're going to have Skill Drain out and then with Skill Drain out, you won't be able to get this guy off, so... Early in the game is good, halfway through kind of sucks, but that's with every other deck too. Um, I got a random battle fader. There's some times in which they just kill your monsters and you don't have nothing to defend yourself, so you can just, you know, battle fader stops the battle phase. I have two uh, DD Warrior Lady. Again, against the meta, I attack headbutt anybody I don't you know I lose damage calculation but then I can just choose to remove both monsters and if they're playing X Sabers and you attack their Foltro or you know uh, anybody the, you, you can just remove them um, another card is Cyber Dragon you know just special summon and right away you can get over a couple monsters out there um, so I have two of those I have three Thunder King Ryle, once again, stops people from special summoning. Not really, but it, it makes them think twice on what to bring out because you can just tribute him to negate the special summons. Plus, uh, they can't add any cards from their deck to their hand except for drawing them, so stops them for that. I have three. Quoki Mero, Sandman. Uh, the reason why I have three of him and only one of the other guys because this guy you tribute and negate a trap. So if they try to bottom this, you could tribute and they just won't get removed they'll go to the grave or if they try torrential mirror force tribute negate and destroy the trap and it can save your monsters half of the time if you already have a monster out and that's all the the monsters in this deck 
Enough for the magics. I have one reborn. Dark hole basically becoming staples now. Well, until the, until they probably hit it again with the band list. Uh, two MSTs. Um, you know you can always replace it with one more of this, but. I have two noble mirror extermination. I have it just in case if I notice that they um chain to nobleman, you know, I'll, I can always use MST and then save this for later, but this actually removes their trap and every copy in both players decks out the game. So, that's good. I got two smashings just in case I can't get over their monsters or if I don't draw a monster replacement, you know, smash. I have three book of moon basically stops a whole bunch of things. Today I played somebody X Sabers and um, he tried to synchro, but I stopped his tuner from you know being his face up. So you can stop a lot of synchroing with Book of Moon. It's a good tech choice for this format. Now to the traps, I got one Solemn Warning. You can put two in here. I only put one just because I don't like paying life points, but it's a really good card. Stops most mostly everything, not everything, but you know. It stops the good stuff. Um, got a Mirror Force, Torrential. Um, I have two Trap Stuns. You can run three. I just side one just in case. But most of the times, you want to get your traps off. And it doesn't really affect you. But you, I just put two just so I can get two more. Uh, I can get one extra card in. And um, it's really good. Traps done. Um, I got two skill drains, you know, stops people from using their effects. Um, I got two bottomless, which I do side in trap holes for my nobleman ex um, extermination. Um, that way, if I hit one of their bottomless, I don't hit none, none of my bottomless. I would side like I take one out and put two trap holes. Um, I have two of the prisons. Um, it will be good to have three, but two will be fine, you know, for this deck. Um, and I have three compulsory. This is like the, the fuck you of the deck, because you try to summon something and I send it right back. And, you know, summon, I guess summon Fossil Dinah at 12 and hit you for 12. And then just keep going off of that. Just this card is good in all general. Stops a lot of things from happening. So, that was my deck list. Um... For anti meta and um, I keep trying to post up more and just subscribe and I just get back to you. Alright, peace.